What's up everybody? Ravenel Ford, Carbine Made Easy. Just stay tuned because this next video is for you. Hey everybody, thanks for clicking on this video with us today at Ravenel Ford with Charleston Car Videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2017 Ford Expedition Limited with four-wheel drive. This will be a, uh, a new car walk-around video that I do, and I will basically go around this vehicle, show you the exterior body, we'll check out the interior, some of the specs, the pricing, and reasons why to buy at Ravenel 4. So stay tuned, it's a great video to watch, and when we get to that orange window sticker here in just a few minutes, let me tell you, that orange window sticker is gonna be a pricing structure that you've never seen on a new Ford, and if you don't live in the Carolinas, you can bet your britches the Ford dealerships out there in the other states probably aren't doing that over there. And you'll be able to use this video to save you some money. But if you're in the Carolinas or anywhere else and you want to come out to Ravenel Ford, I suggest you go ahead, stop the hassling, and come on down here and do some easy car buying with us. So anyways, let's get the ball rolling right now. Thanks for clicking once again. So front end's looking good. It's the Expedition. We got a great selection on ground. That is definitely for sure. And uh, yeah, let's look at it. Do have a V6 up under the hood. It is four wheel drive. Front end's looking nice. Headlights look good. Got your projectors there, your high beams, your fogs, your sensor systems on the front. A lot of nice features on the Expedition and we'll get to that in just a moment. They also make a EL model of the Expedition and EL is basically a longer Expedition. It's longer in the back, so that's going to give you more cargo space, more leg room in the rear third rows and all that good stuff. This one is not an EL, but I will walk over there and show you EL in just a little bit. Let's take a look at the wheels. Those are a sporty looking tire, good looking polished aluminum alloy wheels. Again, those are hand cook Dino Pro tires, which look nice with a 20 inch polished aluminum wheel with a 275 55 series tire. Pretty nice. We got the running board going down the side. Let's look at our window sticker here. So of course, safety ratings, five star. You can't go wrong with that. Ford's definitely hooking it up for you on the five star ratings. 3.5 liter V6. This is a great place to be at when you're car shopping, folks. I advise you to look at the window sticker. They call it a Moroni label. And take the time because you need to look and see what packages are on the vehicle and all that. And what do you get that comes up to a $60,965 price tag? That's the most important thing, okay? Because there's other ones that are less money. There's some that are more money. You need to know what all you're getting on your vehicle for that price, okay? And I'm sure you probably already thought that and you're like, man, yeah, I look at that stuff. Well, just pay attention to it, okay? Uh, it gets 20 on the highway, 15 city average combined, 17, 21, 50s annual fuel cost. Pretty good ratings right in here. It says you spend 37, 50 more in fuel costs over five years, which is understandable. It's an SUV, okay? So pay attention. Also, Ravenel Ford doesn't do this, and I'm going to show you this real quick. No dealer add-ons. What are dealer add-ons? Most car dealerships have another sticker on the side that's an addendum, and they'll have all these extra accessories and things added onto the vehicles. Some dealerships do it on every single new car on the lot. Now you may be wondering how much could that add up to? Well, it, most dealers could charge anywhere from fifteen hundred to three thousand or more on those add-ons. So they don't do it. No rust proofing, no paint sealant, no undercoating, no closing or dock fees. Okay, that's a good one right there. That saves you a couple hundred dollars. Such items are used to mislead customers, giving more markup to selling dealer. Beware. That's pretty cool. I like that. So, anyways, here's that orange sticker I was talking about earlier. So, you saw the price: sixty thousand nine sixty-five. Driving L four discount: twenty-five thirty-three. Ninety-eight over invoice on all new vehicles: fifty-eight four thirty-two. Seven thousand dollar rebate, which is massive. Easy price: fifty-one four thirty-two. Okay, that's the price right there. You'll be financing plus a little bit of interest, unless you can get something with no interest rate and uh, and no deer having fees, no dog fees. That's good stuff, folks. Use that, okay? If you're out there car shopping and looking at a new expedition somewhere, and maybe it's not this particular limited model with four-wheel drive, send me a comment. Let me know. I'll be more than welcome to come out here and film a vehicle for you, and let's look at the price and see what the difference is, right? All right, so you got backup sensors in the back bumper. 
You got a nice looking chrome pipe down there. You got a tow package, a rear, uh, a, a spare tire underneath. Then you got your backup camera. I don't have the key with me. I did a remote start earlier before I walked up just to kind of cool the car off. But it does have a power tailgate, as you can see. You can press the button on the key fob or just hit that button down there. Of course, the Expedition is going to come standard with third row seats, just like an Explorer, standard with third rows. A lot of room back here with a third row down. You also have uh, these power options here to pull these seats right on back up. As you can see what I'm doing right now, I'm hitting that button, bringing that seat back up. The reason I'm doing this is to show you how much room you have once the seats are up. Captain row seats in the second row, which is a great thing to have. If I could buy an SUV like this, I'd definitely get Captain Rose. And there's the room you have with the third row seats up. So if you need more space and you're using those third rows a lot, you're going to need to upgrade to the EL model Expedition, right? There you have it. If you need to close the back, just hit this button here, drops that right on back down just like that. Life just got easier for you and your wife getting those groceries in when you got your hands full with kids. All right, let's take a look at the interior. See what we got going on in here. I can't go over every single little itty bitty feature on the inside, but I will do the best I can. Power windows, power door locks. You got auto up and down on just driver's side. Power mirrors. Real leather. That's real leather, folks. And it's nice. It's perforated with the holes in it. Power seats, power lumbar support, and you got uh, memory seat options. Smart key. Leather wrapped up on the steering wheel. Let's go ahead and get in. Ah, nice and comfortable. I like sitting a little higher in the air. Also, got a Sony stereo system. An old crap handle on both sides and on the back seats. You got two spots for sunglasses, which is great. Well, actually, just one spot for sunglasses. That's right there. That's helpful when you got kids or a baby. Home link. Vanity mirrors with lights. You got two nice HD LCD displays, a ton of features on the steering wheels, another big LCD screen there which is great, brake gain if you got something big you're towing, four wheel drive controls, heated and cooled seats on driver passenger side, so a lot of nice features. I'm going to put it in reverse for the backup camera. There's your camera, looking pretty good. You have the sync system in here, which gives you a USB auxiliary port and a lot of other cool features. But yeah, it's pretty pretty comfortable sitting up front. Passenger side, of course, will have your lighting there. And it's got another little flip down right up here too. Not bad. Let's go ahead and hop in the back seats and see what's going on back there. Yep, she's honking at me because I took the key out of the car while it's running. That's the rear. Pretty spacious. Got a 110 volt, 150 watt outlet in the back, which is good. No rear DVD in this particular one, which is okay. I mean, what kid doesn't have an iPad or a tablet? nowadays right so that's the expedition let's just take a quick look here's some other ones you can get them with the white lettered tires you know the expedition you can just get them all sorts of colors and different packages on them here's one right here it hasn't even been unwrapped yet still got all the plastics inside good looking vehicles though Ford makes a great product. Come on down and see him at Ravenel Ford. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great day. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, hit the like button and uh, give me a comment, folks. Let me know what you think of the Expedition compared to the Chevy Suburban. And um, yeah, and subscribe. That's really important. So hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to earn your, your respect by making these great walk around videos on new cars. We'll see you soon. Visit us online at RavenelFord.com. Carbine really is made easy at Ravenel Ford. And don't forget, this video is brought to you by Charleston Car Videos. Real video, real cars, real people.